Okay, time for this week, LPS VR again. Vic, uh, a little later than you, more, I think, but whatever. Uh, <clears throat> today we got Rake Team Buttercream, uh, written by Guy Tube. Um, so, in this episode, uh, basically, there are these underground bunny racing, which is, and, um, you know, Buttercream tag along, Buttercream, the bunny rabbit, um, so, tag, tag, go, tag along with Pretty Little Vinny, two of them, you know, to watch them, and then it turned out, Buttercream has a weird old type of canality where, if a bell rings, she becomes Flash McGarrett really fast, and she ends up entering the bunny racing, which got me bunch of heap of trouble while Blythe is who very turned out she really did her phone and Roger Darren's her to go a week, you know, without it and you know, all that going on, the phone ends up at the money and can end up accidentally being given away and could probably and they have to get it back. Um so very here plot. Um I well probably we knew about like getting a phone thing, but we didn't know about Flash McCarrot. <laughs> Um, <laughs> like a flash, we can all like. <laughs> um, we can, can we also didn't know what the phone is and thing. Um, so, what kind of kept going on? Like, pretty much everything except for actually the main premise. Not the, the racing thing, that's cool. But the Blythe being into the phone thing. I don't know, she doesn't seem like that kind of person. She can't compare to that thing, but is she really that kind of person who will play her phone? I mean, but I don't have mine around because, you know, before I fall under, I can move out. Um, um, you know, I don't, I don't use my phone that much. I mean, I don't use the computer for most things. I usually, but, but again, I pick up phones with you get for various things that I don't not you get as much go. <laughs> That's my little thing. Um, and it's like, and again, the execution of it is fine. It, it's fine. I just, Find that well, like I like pretend to girl. I mean, in spite of that, and she, you know, though we know her cool, calm, whatever. She, she got up three hours time ago. But I don't know how to sure if it's like believable. It feels like a physical problem that would have come up before. But you know, uh, I can get couple people being barred just by that concept. But at the same time, it's not that big of a deal. So and oh. Not that big of a deal. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna call it debatable because it's like it's not that big of a deal. I'm really against. Um, uh, that's especially funny, but I do like some of the questions they get because she, had, you know, going crazy at some point and she, uh, you know, eventually learned. Um, Josh Hart could mention again. He didn't up here, but he had mentioned um uh, maybe pulling up the cup thing and he won again. He appeared twice, but then he had to wait till that window for him to either appear again or be really mentioned like. The look back window, I think I might have been here, because the shower water is the one I'm thinking of, where they start replicating more meaningful. You know, and now we're here for doing it again. And we've turned out he had a pet rabbit. Yeah. And it's the rabbit that was competing against Burn Cream and the Rake. And womp womp. And that's a good ending joke. I hope we get to um, see him, like, get Joshua Bang, like, an actual pet, and cool. I don't know if I haven't established before. I think, like, Kone was established before now. I, I, he might have. I, I, I don't know. I don't remember everything, so. I don't think we knew about him having Fluffy Lightning. Um. <laughs> fluffy Lightning, who, I can tell what's an actual ball, because I can get kind of voice you got to have with Rainbow Dash, pretty much. Because she running fast and being both full, I can mean, like Rainbow Dash, pretty much. Um. Um. Uh, Kathy Wack, like, if they're like, Treasure of Oak kind of flash my character, because she gets very spike counting in some point, so. And again, um, uh, look how uh, good. Um, it's nothing I mean, well, like, it's entertaining, but I don't know, like, what you get out of it is the whole thing about, you know, don't want to go too much, which I've seen the prep before. I didn't kick on to a lot, especially, but, you know, thanks for the show, the guy, okay, hey, don't scream, don't do that, you know. Yeah, you probably, you know, you could probably look at your phone when watching this. <laughs> you know, and again, the, um, it, you know, it goes in the direction of it, of course, when they, your phone gets, like, gets locked, like, like, they give it, Ruckle, Vinny won't get to record something, and Ruckle get, don't do anything to it, and I'm like, we're gonna go and do it. And I, you know, I think half the outcome for the premise that you read to pop up, but that's fine. Um, 
but definitely especially great having them, but much of a muting thing. I like Flash McCarran, um, Bird Cranes are going craggy, and uh, especially with a final raid for to keep pushing back and forth, and you know. Nothing good of any joke to um again a lot of good life going crazy joke. Only fun. Um and like when she can you know, jump Roger to get the phone back on point. Yeah. But and Roger having a Canadian appearance, like always great as well. A lot of type here looking at that trying to think of it. Mm. I don't know. I, I don't just remember a cameo in the time camera store. Yeah, I think that guy too as well. Um he done a role in a particular piano, which is Show how good he been looking at what I think it was a effort looking in, but I have to think back to what he had you know, written. Like, it's not gonna hold out the game, because the only thing you can really comment on is, is like, why whoever you think it got the most you like look or not. And I don't think they like my rep, because we don't stretch it so much that it can be a big deal of more like you think the, the idea doesn't bother you or don't. I don't think anything about the execution will really make it better or worse. But it is fine. They, you know, they have her do it. I don't think it gets to a weird place, and, you know. And in the end, she, you know, learn something and it's a good joke and stuff like that. Again, the best part of it might be the bunny race, but the concept of the bunny race could be kind of a funny thing we do with that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're good. It just depending on how you're gonna feel about the bunny thing, whatever you think. Oh, over the phone, big perfect can I don't, I have no problem with that. And if you don't like the concept, then you're not a concept. The execution is gonna go for real. You don't, you know, the concept will like break or break it rather than the execution, which is fine. And I see why they want to do a kind of story, and it's not, but at the same time, it's just me politically, and I'm, I'm not a kind of sure, but I'm gonna call it one good because it, yeah, no, it's not that big of a deal, what it's like. And they do a funny thing with it. I like when show do can do it, it can be funny to keep people react like that, because it's like, typically, I think, kind of weird. But overall, it was good. Nothing really stood out that much in terms of, like, the story I'm talking about, you know, like. You know, but again, who knows? Um, Mookie, we'll, we'll 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 better work my watch again. I haven't rewatched any of that looking in yet, because, you know, I wait until. I do my to do stuff at the end. Scene. But I'm rambling because the only thing I really want to talk about with the Blythe thing, like everything else, I'm like, yeah, that's fun, that's interesting, but nothing really talk about kind of Blythe being just did. So, yeah, good up go, just, yeah, not like, you know, that, I mean, but that's fine, you know, the area of really special. The location thing to me, besides you know, the raking of Rogue Corp, uh, Josh, I almost get Flash. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, uh, uh, being mentioned in the, uh, the Pet Bunny, and hopefully I collaborated upon, but we can hopefully make it really fluffy and too fun. Go. Go, oh, yeah, good, not much. Okay, next week we have, well, for Pony, we finally have no second prank, because they leak for Tinger, and boy, that should be a fun one. And, uh, um, uh, for uh, Little Pet Shop, we have on the game page, the prep for that one sounds particularly interesting. Um, That'll be fun. And Monday we have a collaborative vlog for uh, uh, Blight Pet Project. Let's get a little thing about that one. So there you go. I'll see you all next week, and hopefully I'll have more. Okay. And uh, I'm just kind of like tired now. Anyway, I will see you then.